Uh, Congressman, I'd like you to weigh in on this new story out this morning from the Associated Press. Looking at Paul Manafort, you know, the former campaign chairman for the president's then campaign, saying he worked for a Russian billionaire a decade ago to try to, they say, push the interests of President Putin. Can you tell me how this would affect your committee's investigation? The dots continue to connect around Paul Manafort and his ties to Russia. And we are seeing that it's not just the deep personal, political, financial ties that Donald Trump and his team has with Russia. We want to now know, did these ties extend to helping Russia during the interference campaign? And Halle, are we now seeing dramatic changes in foreign policy toward Russia because we owe Russia something, so, because they helped these individuals? Given that, Congressman, are you going to subpoena Paul Manafort to appear in front of this committee? Our, our investigation will not be complete if he does not testify. So he should be subpoenaed. Also, Hallie, I'm calling on the president to suspend any foreign policy related to Russia. Any changes, I think, need to be put on hold until this investigation is cleared up. Is that realistic, given the threat that many of your colleagues talk about coming from Moscow? Uh, well, I, I believe we should not embrace Moscow anymore. We should not reduce sanctions. We should not do anything to threaten NATO's check on Moscow. So uh, until the president uh, is cleared under this investigation, until the questions about Moscow's influence on the president and his team, I think we should put on hold any changes with policy toward Russia. Some of your Democratic colleagues, I'm thinking of Maxine Waters in particular, have raised the I word, impeachment. Is that something that is, in your view, uh, a tactic Democrats should pursue? Let me raise a different I word, investigation, and that's what we're doing right now. We're in the first inning of our investigation. I think there's a lot more evidence to follow, and let's see where that takes us. So your take on impeachment, though, Congressman, what do you think? Too early, too early. I still think, you know, we want to uh, review all of the evidence. I want to see the president's tax returns in our investigation. I think that would be quite illuminating as to uh, what his ties were uh, to Russia. But uh, we're not there yet. I think we need to follow all leads and bring all of these witnesses uh, before our House Intelligence Committee. And you did ask Director Comey about those tax returns. I know on Monday he said they may be helpful in an investigation. Do you have an expectation that the FBI will get those returns and will your committee see them? I hope they get the tax returns and any financial dealings that the president had with Russia. I'm going to be asking, and I know my colleagues on the committee also expect that that will be a part of our investigation, a review of his tax returns, a full review, not just the cover sheet, but a full in-depth review. Congressman Eric Swalwell, thank you very much for joining us here. I know you're headed over to the steps of the Capitol. Much appreciated. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.